Hey guys, wanted to go ahead and talk about Baldur's Gate 3 here, and um, I, as you can see here, uh, my character is a level 12, so I pretty much beat the game already, um, but I wanted to talk about tips and tricks on how to deal with inventory management, because for me, when I was playing, I played this game for like 200 hours now, <laughs> I found the inventory management was really, really ridiculous, and um, but there are some tips that I want to offer that'll make the experience much more easier to deal with, and here we go. Okay. Uh, tip number one is you want to go here and you want to go under options and you want to go under interface and you're going to see hotbar options where it goes add arrows automatically, add consumables automatically. Like I would uncheck all this because what happens is all these things just clog up your, your, your items here. And so I recommend just getting rid of that because that just gets really, really annoying. All right, tip number two. What I want to recommend is having a junk container and using it as a junk container. So in this case here, my inventory here, everyone's inventory is like really clean, like basically. And I'll talk about like kind of like how I go about doing things. But let me just go ahead and go over like a really quick, simple way of how you can get rid of like a lot of crap. So I'm just going to go here and buy a lot of shit here. Okay, we're just going to go here and we're just going to um, pretty good demonstration of like a lot of the garbage you get in the game. Right. So like I'll just go like this and. <clears throat> like, in this case, I've got a lot of stuff that I don't really... Let's just hypothetically, you didn't need this, right? So, usually what people do is they say, oh, add to wares. That actually is, my opinion, really slow. So, let's just do it this way. What I like to do... So, let, you have a dedicated junk container. You can use barrels. You can use whatever. But what you do is you just basically put all these things that you don't want to... Like, I would say these are junk, at least this far in the game. And I'm just going to go ahead and just... Well, that's probably valuable. These are all junk. And what you do is... So that's, I know for a fact that's crap. So now I just what go back there and I go like this. And what you can do is just take the entire container and just barter and sell. And sure. provided that what is in the bag, oh, what you can also do is just what buy the need? backpack right back, which in my opinion just makes things a lot easier. Sure. Um, this is a lot easier than trying to add the wares. And I just would just do this if you have just a lot of junk. Just basically you store them all into the bag. And provided that it's not highlighted in orange or it's a quest item, uh, you'll be able to sell the bag. It, whether it's a barrel, whether it's a crate. And so what I actually do is I have one of my characters have all the backpacks. And what I do is actually I send it to my high strength character, have him fill up the bag, and then I'll just say send it to camp so in the end we just have a whole bunch of bags that are filled with crap that are sent to camp like this right i would just take that and then i just go back and leave camp you're going to be right in front of the guy right and then you just right away you know you just go okay and then you sell that crap i would just go like this and you could just go like this really quickly you see this all this is like hypothetically let's just say this is junk um and again, you go like, obviously in this, in this case, these are actually really good items. But what I, again, what I go like need? this, you go like this, you pick the 18, like that, boom, and then take your money back. I mean, your container back. Sure. That's the easiest way to deal with junk in the game to clear things out. All right, tip number three is not a popular opinion or not a lot of people are doing it, but it's kind of what I personally do. So um, a lot of people have this notion that they want to fill up the entire uh like entire thing here right like that's kind of what they do they have the entire thing it's just filled up and everyone's like um but i don't do My that i actually like to you. have like oh, empty space now. throughout because it's kind of like uh i kind of declutter things so let me kind of elaborate when you when you start when you play the game all this is all filled out but what you start to realize at least for me is um, certain things are more valuable than others. So I'll give you a good example, like Gale. Out of all the spells he has, there are, there are certain ones I think that are extremely valuable and other ones I don't give a crap about. So like, as an example, I don't have to have Featherfall here because I don't care about Featherfall that much. Or I, don't, I don't need to have this. For me, level one is Magic Missile. That's like the best one. Or level two, it's got to be Misty Step, right? Um, or level three, you know, there's certain... So these are like the spells I use the most. And I'm, the, I'm level 12. These are pretty much all the spells I only use. And the point I'm trying to say is like, you don't want all of this here. I mean, that's just like filled with crap. That's just like all the way over, like filled... Like, that's ridiculous. Like, it's better just to declutter and focus on what you need. And kind of on the same notion, on this screen here, I also feel the same way too. You don't need certain things. I'll give you an I example. Actually, we'll clear out everything here in the beginning. I <laughs> just like, well, actually just kind of clear it out in the beginning. Um, it does seem like a little bit annoying, but um, it, it's just a lot more cleaner in the long run. And just, I just remove all this out because you start to realize that even amongst the cantrips that are here, 
some of them are more useful to have on your menu and some of them are not. So I just basically go like this really quickly. Oops, oh shit. Oh, um, you know, and I just... This is kind of a, uh, a little bit annoying in the beginning, but it pays off because like I said, it, it does clean things out later on. And so I just look in the cleric and I th really think about what are the most, and then, um, you know, I look at, I, I remove these out in the beginning. And I really think to myself, like, what are the most valuable for me? So I'll click maybe that and that and that. Um, I'll click um, that, you know, then you kind of like in the long run, you start to have a much cleaner interface and you have the spells that you want and not a lot of the crap that you don't want. And even amongst the common, right? Um, so as an example, like, I don't need a separate hide button. Like, I know how to push C. So why would I need that on there? But that adds another button on there, to which really makes it uh, like, or you don't really need the help button because help, you just need to just roll over to them and click them with the mouse. So that's kind of like, but you do need a jump button, right? So I put the jump button there. You do need that button. Uh, you do definitely need that button. Um, and occasionally you need the run and you occasionally you need the push, but you see what I mean? It's a much more cleaner interface in the long run rather than having all this crap just fill up your entire screen. All right, so another tip that I like doing personally is, so you'll notice here that your inventory screen goes all the way from here to here, right? And so what I like to do is things that I use, but I don't need to show all the time, I'll actually put it here on the bottom like this. So like things like keys and alchemy or whatever, like, or the artifact, like I don't need to have that up here cluttering my screen. So I actually have that on the bottom. Um, and you'll notice this is the same with her. Like, like here, this is not shown, but like if I scroll down, it's there. Another thing I want to uh, say is a good tip is something that actually I learned from Reddit. But what they do is they make it so they put a pouch in there and they put like a potion right next to them to make them remind them of what it, it like what it has because sometimes a lot of the pouches they look the same and unfortunately there's no way to label pouches there's no way to color them and i wish you could but you can't so sometimes you just put a pouch and put like a potion right next to it it lets you know like okay that's my potion one right there or like in this case like and in, in the case of starion like he's got a pouch but i've got like thieves stuff so like there's thief stuff in there you know what i mean um so that could be handy too